Yeah, I know what you like. You're so naughty. Why did you post this? I've got exactly what you've been begging for. Something super goofy. This shit is so silly, it'll have you dressing up like a clown just to fit the vibe. A popular online tournament circuit for- This is Contra's brother. For Apex Legends, permanently banned an entire team from competing in any of their future events because of teabagging. The new video game boogie Okay, I don't, I don't buy this. Minutes. There's no shot. It's like, but it's that simple. in this case, it wasn't even like the classic scientific definition of a teabag where you go over and crouch up and down on someone's body after you've killed them. What happened here is it was a teammate that teabagged his other teammate just as a joke amongst each other. And it didn't matter. The tournament organizer didn't care. He made a giant statement. Not only were they going to be banned from competing in their tournaments going forward, but Hi. he puffed out his chest and exuded some real hall monitor energy by proudly proclaiming that no matter the context, even if it's a teammate teabagging another teammate for fun, it's still toxic and will not be tolerated in a professional setting. Doesn't matter. And then he goes on to say, just because you have a keyboard to, to hide behind doesn't mean that we'll accept stop it. it. But the it was didn't so... Work and the mod thought I was saying that to you. I'm actually so sad for being banned for that. Oh, yeah, mods, you know, the chatter I tried to tag was so lame. Sorry. Love from Quibesity XQCL. Oh, mods, you can invent that guy. What do we do? Just invent him. Embarrassing. Just made an absolute fool out of himself and the entire tournament that Good. they run. Thanks, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show the clip now because I'd like to get into it a bit more. But this is impressive timing because I just recently made a video a little under two weeks ago talking about that massive Twitter thread that claimed teabagging in a video game is the same as real world. Wait, just, guys, I thought, I thought the whole internet agreed that this was a joke and a meme and it was a complete disaster and nobody should get into this. But they, they actually gave in. Sexual assault, teabagging online is sexual assault. It, it, it was absolute insanity. But the reason I'm bringing that up is because now we have yet another case of teabagging being very contentious here. And I just have to wonder what the fuck is going on with the world right now, where online crouching up and down is apparently a huge deal. People always thought that in the future, wars would be fought on the battlefield Here's with drones and months. robots. You are an absolute but the truth Lord. is very far Keep from that. Great it seems our wars are now... Gu guys, 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 if you think that teabagging is a, is a bad thing, what about the action of killing the person before teabagging them? That would mean that killing isn't as bad as having your nutsack on somebody else's chin, right? Just that as a very core concept does not make any sense fought online in the game i mean of course in the fucking game guys i'm not i guess i'm not guys i'm not saying outside the game i'm just saying of course it's the context of a game why would i say in game is the, it happened in the game you know what I'm saying? as a as a core concept it's you have to kill the enemy shoot bullets at them then they bleed you there's blood and shit like that and they die in the game and then you said that this is this is nothing compared to crouching on their chin like i don't know how that that makes with any our sense. digital nut sacks Twitch, the Terra, Terra Day, appreciate you sticking around. Yo, okay, Dilly is, um, Crazy Penguins is disqualified. I'm not taking that at all. Oh, he went over to, uh, the dead body that they just killed, and he went teabagged on the fucking death box. Does this look like, yeah, 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 guys, what does this video look like? Some sort of, like, porn ad. Some fu- there's an arrow, some shit, some some message here, some pixelated image in the middle. This looks like a fucking Pornhub side at it. What the fuck is it? I'm looking at, bro. But, uh, uh, Dilly was permanently with this boy uh, from the Fate Legion tournament. He's debugged his own teammate in an event despite it not being mentioned in rules. You can see his soul immediately fill with rage as he noticed not one, not two, but three pumps on top of the death box. And that was three pumps too many. He broke the rule of cardinal it? sin. So on the spot immediately just disqualifies them. And then the next part here is Dilly, the player that he was spectating, proving that the death box that he teabagged was his teammate. He showed it, I didn't see it. Max. Twitch, the Terra, Terra Day, appreciate you sticking around. Yo, okay, Dilly is, um, Crazy Penguins is disqualified. I'm not taking that at all. Oh, he went Where? over to uh, the dead body that they just killed and he went teabagged on the fucking death box. Where? What, what, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm thinking trolled. Where? Terra, Terra Day, appreciate you sticking around. Yo. Wait, that? Nutsacks. Twitch, the Terra, Terra Day, appreciate you. Wait. 
There's no body. There's no body. There's no body. Sticking around. Yo. Okay, Dilly is um crazy. Okay, okay. Let's not get it wrong. Okay? Even if there was a body, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. It's the box. Penguins is disqualified. I'm not taking that at all. Oh, he went over to uh, the dead body that they just killed. Qualifies them. And then the next part here is Dilly, the player that he was spectating, proving that the death box that he teabagged was his teammate. Because he thought he could clear up the confusion, like, no, I wasn't, like, being toxic. It's metaphorical. Okay, so when something, when something is you think is bad, right? Right? Then, anytime you add a layer to it, it gets di diluted, right? The fact that it's not a bot, it's, it's not a live body, and then it's not a dead body, and it's not even a body at all, and it's just a box, it's diluted anyway, so who cares? Like, I, this is my teammate, we were joking, we were having fun. But it didn't matter, he didn't care. Absolutely not, will not tolerate that. Literally goes in fucking out of his way to jump on a death box to teabag it. Don't think so. I have a fucking pan and pattern. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. Yes, we will not take that. Why is he? Huh? Is he not? Is he? He's not. Wait, he's not trolling. Wait a minute, hold the phone. No, no, he's not trolling. I have a fucking pan and pattern. Yeah, he wasn't fucking out of his way to jump on a it. Didn't matter. He didn't care. Absolutely not. Will not tolerate that. Literally goes in fucking out of his way to jump on a death box to teabag it. Don't think so. I have a fucking pan and pattern. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. Yes, we will not take that. A pen and paper? Uh, they're trying to say that that was his own teammate. Yeah, they're saying that he teabagged his own teammate. So it doesn't matter, folks. Like, when you're in a tournament, you, you're in a professional tournament. You can't be doing it. Super interesting and delusional perspective here that's just outright wrong. Teabagging is still present in professional esports, in pretty much all of them that have a teabagging mechanic. In, in fact, most recently at the ALGS, which is another Apex tournament, it's the biggest Apex tournament, there were instances of- Guys, what happens, guys, when it's last circle, okay, and somebody wants to uh, loot a uh, a body armor, right? And nobody nobody loots an Apex while standing still. What happens when they start crouch spamming to dodge bullets while sw swapping armor? Do you just- pause the game, ban all three players on the bodies, or on the fucking body boxes, and then continue the game as it, as, as it continues? Is that the, the teabagging. Is that the next step? And you know what didn't happen? Someone fucking charging the stage and flipping over their table, throwing the monitors to the side and saying, you're banned, disqualified. No one made a big deal out of it. And do you know why? Because it's really not that big of a deal. But somehow this- Not, not only is it not a big of a deal, it's not a deal, it's not a deal. It's, we, guys, guys, in my opinion, it's, we have to make very strong stances, okay? Against, uh, against dumb takes, okay? We can't say- I, I like, I like a, a more- You can't even say it's a, not a big deal. It's not a deal. Struck a chord so it's deep not a thing. inside of him that he went on this brief mention of how it's like compromising the safe space that he's trying to create with the tournament, which is another really weird perspective because I mean what what do you like their mom you, you popping your tit out so they can suckle like what do you mean you're trying to provide a safe space for all gamers here it's a video game and it's a it's a tournament that you are allowing people to compete in that's already a space for people that feel comfortable enough to compete like they don't need further protection from you it's not like this team went on Twitter and started harassing them and sending them shitty message or anything also, also the game is about like violence like it's it's still I, mean, I don't want to be soft about it but it's like you're shooting bullets at people, killing them and shit. Like, it's still about, like, somebody goes down, needs these medical, you kill them, bang, and you shoot bullets at them, like, still. They kept everything localized to that tournament, kept everything in the game, and they only teabagged each other. Like, there was no toxicity being had in the first place. So how in any way did a teammate teabagging his friend, who was also on his team, compromise that safe space? I would completely understand if they were being, like, rude assholes to the the other teams you know insulting them the argument they're gonna make is that um it's for people watching seeing that that safe space it's their safe space as gamer whatever to see that happen and we're just being generally shitty to them then yeah i can understand you being like we won't tolerate that get it Which out of still here doesn't, or if you even understand it if going into the tournament you had a rule that said no teabagging the no teabagging clause and and they broke it here this is a huge stretch, but even then I'd at least almost understand it, because I, I guess it would be like a technical breaking of that rule. But you don't even have that most basic rule in place. This does milk. nothing to ruin the safe space that you're creating here. And I don't uh, even really know what you mean by a safe space for, for gamers to compete in, because it's not like you do anything special. You're hosting a tournament Excuse for them to compete the in, so the players that are playing there already feel comfortable enough to go there and play. 
Now, if things got out of control where, like I mentioned, they're sending nasty messages or whatever, then that would be a problem where you would want to stand up for your players and, you know, okay. make a stand yeah, for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I want to talk about this a little bit. Uh, just for 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay? Didn't happen. In my opinion, in my opinion, this happens a lot in games or, or overall in, in, in the sphere. If something, if something happens, if no, nothing is done about it and nobody talks about it or nobody thinks it's a big deal, right? Uh, people say, oh, then we can do it too because they did it, right? And then, the, oh, we can do it because they did it. It's like a chain and it never fucking stops, right? And people are like, oh, because they, they get validated. If this happens, we can do it, right? In my, in my opinion, it's very important, very important that from this point on, if this just happened, that people make a very strong stance that this won't happen again and this is not a thing that happens, boom, so that this is clear, right? And my opinion, this, and that action needs to be made that, boom, this is fucking stupid. So for, for the damage isn't done. And that hasn't happened. That. And so I think people need to really understand. Yeah, so like you can't do that. Just like I'm telling you, you're going to tell me teabag and my own teammate is toxic. All right, so then this is where we're going to shut the lobby down at this point because I'm not going to get into that one because absolutely it is. Uh, unfortunately, yet. Yeah. Why what? This tournament? Bro, you do that in organized sports, you are gone. You aren't going to tell me teabagging my own teammate is toxic me teabag and my own teammate is toxic all right so then this is where we're gonna shut the lobby down at this point because i'm not gonna get into that one because absolutely it is uh unfortunately yes disqualified because yes you cannot wow, do that this folks. guy is almost sportsmanship. as cute as my sportsmanship, friend Quentin. sportsmanship sportsmanship right you cannot go and teabag your own teammates in any organized sports so why would you come into it uh an organized why what Go and teabag your own teammates in any organized sports so why would you come into it uh, uh an organized tournament and go and do something like that. What a horrible, horrible comparison. You can't teabag in any professional organized sport, so why do it here? Bro, professional organized sports are not video okay, games. You, you're not going to be able to teabag your golf opponent. Like, if you get a, a birdie and he gets a bogey, you can't, like, push him to the ground and start dropping nuts on him. Like, obviously, there's not going to be any against... sporting examples of someone teabagging the opponent. That's such a dumb comparison to try and make. This is a video game where you Deborah, can do that, and kids. it's not that big of a deal you if you do. With, and you know, you're talking about sportsmanship. This wasn't like bro, not sports. Bro, also that the, the game, the game where you can in the game, you can jump, you can crouch, uh, you can heal, and you can shoot. This is about the actions you can do in the game and nothing else. I don't think that a main action of the game that also is very strategic on a, on somebody's body is a problem. Like what? like. This was a teammate having fun with another teammate. Is the purpose of your tournament to have fun? Or is it to go in there and be fucking miserable and be disciplined by you, the authority that rules it with an iron fist or whatever? Like, what what are you trying to accomplish with your tournament if you're going to make it this cutthroat with how you enforce what you believe to be a toxicity violation? This is outrageous. It is absolutely outrageous. It has nothing to do with sportsmanship. I think what happened here is you thought that Dilly teabagged an opponent and you thought that people might be upset about that so you tried to get out ahead of it and made a big hoopla about it. When I was doing it, I didn't even know teabagging what, uh, what it was, I just did it. I just did it because it made, made you go closer to the body so you, can, so you can punch it. And that's why I would crouch and then punch the bodies and I thought that was, the, that was what you had to do. So I, I would kill somebody in Halo, I'd crouch and I would just keep punching it. And I didn't know I was doing something Once bad. it was revealed it was his teammate, you had to stay on that hill. You no longer could backpedal because you'd already dug yourself into that hole and backed yourself into that corner. And now you just look super dumb because of it. You should have just said after it was revealed to be his teammate, Oh, I misunderstood. I don't really want toxicity in my tournament, so just, uh, you know, understand oh, that going forward. Dude, it, was, oh, it, was, it was like a random tournament. It wasn't like a big tournament from like, oh, I get it. Respect that. Just no teabagging from here on out. That would have been a lot more respectable. I'm sure Dilly nope. and the whole squad would have had no problem with that after the confusion was cleared up. But what you did here was the worst possible approach to handling this situation. And you couldn't even give an actual <gasps> argument for how Dilly teabagging his teammate was actually toxic. Okay. At no point did you actually okay, stop. This, this, explain this, it. This when is you challenged, you just said, okay, I'm not going there. Time to shut down the lobby. You didn't really go into detail on why you believed it was nah, still toxic good, this after is... you learned that it was his teammate. So no, you cannot teammate bag your own teammates, or anybody for that matter. Do not teabag teammates in the future just because you can hide behind this and get to use this little thing You're not gonna do that in the real world. So don't don't do that. Oh Big shot here. Well, I mean, I don't see see what you're saying is that it has real life like like uh, 
applications, right? But um, I don't, I don't think you, sh you. I mean, you shouldn't obviously shoot bullets at people either. Don't do that. Oh, big shot here, big muscle, masculine, tough guy. You can hide behind these keyboards, but you wouldn't say it to my face. What a great argument. I don't even know what that has to do with anything, by the way. It's not like Dilly and them were talking shit. They were trying to understand, trying to get clarification, like, can you explain how me teabagging my friend who's on my team is toxic? And I guess for some reason he took that as fighting words. Oh, so you want to fight then? Ah, uh, keyboard warrior, of course. <laughs> get out of here. Banned forever. Horrible. Horrible, horrible all around. Uh, let's go ahead and see what Dilly said, because he Let's made a show. couple posts about it, obviously, because he was upset about it. And as he lays out here, it's not in the rules. Like, there's nothing about teabagging in the rules. So even if he was trying to, like, strictly enforce a poorly written rule, it's not even there to begin with. They just had absolutely no grounds gamers for this overreaction. So yeah, this horrible ban here, awful seen. decision, and it Iman makes the entire organization games. or well, the entire tournament here look really, so really silly. That's about it. So, yeah, yeah um, that was mega cringe. I mean, that was, I mean, that was, guys, is that a big tournament or something or what? I don't know what that is. That's really dumb. That that doesn't make like any sense at all. Yeah, I hope that nobody follows this example. Oh.